also, I would appreciate your answers, please. Okay. I just want to make sure. Is Ms. Tobin here at all? She is not. Is counsel for Ms. Tobin here? She's a proper person. So, today, technically, this shows a Tobin opposition to Nation Star motion for summary judgment against Jim Jack and counter motion for summary judgment. This got a clerk's. Wait, does Somebody messed with my. Okay, so anyway, today we're showing a total opposition to Nation Star Motion Sorry, against Jimmy and Jack and the counter motion. So somehow this got a. I don't see this screen. That's why I started having to focus. I didn't see the screen. It came up. So then it somehow got a. Somehow it then received a notice. Okay. I think I can have a position on it, man. Feel free to do so. I've been in this from day one, so I, I think I have pretty good. I thought I was. Go ahead. Right. Go ahead. So, Mr. Mushkin's office represents Tobin as the trustee for the Hansen Trust. Because what happened was, when Ms. Tobin came into this case originally, the proper person, Your Honor, uh, we were at this hearing and said, you, you don't have standing because you're not right. a trustee. So, that's when. She then came in as the trustee and Mr. Mushkin represented her. Now, she has no standing in this case because as an individual, Ms. Tobin individually has nothing to do with this case. On March 22, 2019, the clerk of the District Court of Clark County served the only notice of hearing for April 23rd, 2019, and that was for Nation Star Mortgage's uh, motion for summary judgment against Jimmy Jack. That was the only notice of hearing served. On April 15th, 2019, Joseph Hong for Jimmy Jack for Joel Stokes served notice through the court's e-file and serve system that the April 23rd hearing was continued. So Melanie Morgan for Nation Star and Joseph Hong agreed among themselves to continue that April 23rd hearing on Nation Star's motion for summary judgment to the second week in May. And it, it gave Joseph Hong until April 26th to file an opposition to Nation Star's motion for summary judgment. So this order, this stipulation was between the two of them without including me as an individual or me as the trustee of the Gordon B. Hansen Trust that had an active complaint for quiet title that involved them. We were adverse parties and they created this side deal by getting rid of me. And Joseph Hong did not stop there. He served on April 22nd, a notice of entry of the stipulation in order, and so it was definitely in the record. Two times notice was served not to appear at the April 23rd hearing that you just saw how Joseph Hong decided that he would just take away all my rights to uh, appeal, to do anything, by telling the judge that she had never admitted me, had uh, granted me the right to intervene as an individual, which is a bald-faced lie that he knows perfectly well. Because he was at the December 20th of 2016 hearing where I was admitted 
and the judge granted me the right to intervene both as an individual and as a um, trustee of the Gordon B. Hansen Trust. In another video, I'll show you what at the, the rest of this hearing they struck from the record. They got a motion for summary judgment against them and the, the evidence that I was presenting to the court stricken from the record without being considered. And this is how they won the case.